Okay, people, how are you doing today? Check it out. I got 31 videos on YouTube now. 31. I'm kind of happy that I got 31 videos, but this is like kind of a sad occasion. I'm happy that I'm able to do this. But today, like I said, it's such a sad occasion because this might be my last video I get a chance to make. The reason why I say that is because, you know, you sit at home and you think you want to say, like, now this guy is, like, telling me, but he's saying that he got all these problems going on in his life, right? So check this out. What is he doing? I mean, really, how is he making all these videos and then get an opportunity or a chance to go to work? Well, I can't really say anything about that because you know what we all have these things that we go through in life and it's called like technical skills everything like that but the thing what I'm doing right now I have enough time to make videos at home because I don't have anything else to do so I'm at home I'm online I'm filling out applications and stuff like that no response right so I'm trying to figure out now I'm supposed to sit up here just wait until everything comes down on me, right? And not do something about it. I've been trying to do something about it. It's called like work. Okay? See, this word that they got, they got, it's called fun employment. Fun employment. Did I actually go through one of the things where I've never made a video or talked about? It's no fun being unemployed. There's no word that I can see, but I don't understand how fun employment can even exist. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be tripping and they're going to be mad. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of people that's mad at me right now anyway because I've been talking about them and saying things on video and they thinking I'm directing it directly towards them, but no, I'm not. But I'm just saying this one thing about fun and fun. Okay, I made fun out of it in one of my videos. I asked the extra F. Uh, you on there, um, the unemployment, I think it made the word fun employment or something like that. Okay, but like I said, seriously though, people, there's no fun out of being unemployed, like I said. Now, when you're not working and people think that, oh, well, you could go out and get a job and everything like that. Well, like I said, in today's economy, you're not going to just go out there and get a job just like that. Man, when you're 51 years old, people are going to actually like wonder, like, are you old and, well not old enough to work because you got to be old enough to work you've got enough age on you to have like three jobs but anyway i'm just saying this thing about people think that just because you're not working everything like that, that this is what i really like to have a pet peeve about if they want to say that's what you call it how are you supposed to expect to get a job when they won't hire you because you've been out of work okay but I can't understand how these moms, like these house moms, home, home moms, whatever, wind up just jumping into these positions. Like they can just go out and then they get these skills and everything and they can jump out and train and everything like that to get these jobs that they have where people that have skills like that, that they won't even hire them. They say that they're overqualified. What the hell is overqualified? I'm just saying, can you actually be overqualified? I mean, you got skills. And you're supposed to be able to do these skills to help people who are working, doing it in their work environment. Now, if you're qualified and you've got skills, how can you be overqualified? That's stupid. I mean, like I said, you've got enough skills to train, help anybody or whatever you want to call it. See, like I said, I got this thing about training. I told you about the word training seems like something you do to a dog or a monkey to train. So, we talk about, we give people that instruct. Okay, that's what I'm saying. We instruct people because when you give people instruction, they can follow instruction. When you train somebody, like I said, I gotta explain training is the same thing. It's like you go over and over again and you train somebody and that gets them to the point it's like reiterating and just going over and over. And they just just do what you tell them to do. Okay. So that's why I said when you instruct people, you give them instructions and they follow the instructions to the team, then it actually goes the way you specify right so anyway let's not have to go through training training is not something that we like on to use that word okay but now we know they got this thing where you go to these programs and they say they offer you training and everything like that okay fine now i'm not i'm not the person that you have to say well this guy needs training so i don't need training i need instruction i need to find out where to go how to get this well, like I said, 
I got perfect job skills and everything like that. I mean, I may not be able to articulate and say things like I need to be saying on this tape or this video, but actually, like I said, I've gotten to the point where I'm just trying to figure out how do you get like jobs and stuff that people would like turn you down for or people don't even help you or assist you to get these jobs. And you got all these skills in the world, not quote unquote through training, you got instructions and you got jobs and everything like that. And you know this stuff and you can't even get a basic job. I mean, people, why can't you even get jobs? I mean, I don't even get called from the grocery store because I guess when I send my resume, I put my information on there, whether there's like these gaps and stuff like this. See, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Now, if you have a gap in your employment, okay, and then they determine on like how do you work stuff like that or how do you like base your skills or your levels and stuff. See that puts you out of like a market, a job skills, or search, whatever you want to put in. So you gotta have like a resume, a resume, I told you a resume seems to be that piece of paper that tells you about your life and your qualifications and everything like that. But you know I found something out when I went I, I went down to the social security office and I applied for social security. Check this out. Not only do they have all your information from the first job that you had when you was like 18 or something like that. When it, your first job, I'm talking about when you like got a social security card and they put your name and your number on there and they told you, they know exactly how much money you make from that time up until now. Like everything that you file taxes on, right? So you know that you can't get away or try to hide anything from the government. So let's just say, you never change your social security number. You never change your name. Now, if you never made these changes and stuff, that means that they know exactly all the money that you made and everything that you got. So if they got all this information on you, I'm telling you, I didn't even know they had like jobs that I didn't even list on my, uh, my resume. I, wouldn't it seem like I can go to the government and ask them like, please, can you tell me, can I have all the information all of the, the places that I need to work in order to get your paper or your skills or whatever the information that you need in order to fill out applications now today and give them no gap. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to worry about a gap in between on employment if you go if you can get that information from the government. Because I mean, if they know exactly everything that you've done between your first job and then now. You don't have a gap in your employment because you've been making money all along. So this is what I can't understand. Now, I know if I go down to the city department or whatever, they they supposed to have a job search and job helping you all this other job readiness program. Don't they get that same information from the computer that the government has? I mean, I'm serious. They should know. They know exactly everything that you do when you go fill out uh, for public aid or when you go get a link card and everything like that, they got all that information. They can tell you, like, if you give them your right address and everything like that, they can tell you exactly your rent, they can tell you your gas bill, they can tell you all the stuff that you're behind in and everything like that. So I'm trying to figure out, if they got all this information, now how is it that they don't know that you got a work history? Or you already got places where you, like, just didn't put in your application but they know exactly where you work before. See, this was a, this don't don't fly with me. So I'm just trying to understand people. Get this understanding. See, people help you if they want to help you. Sometimes you get this point. You get to this point where you just say like, okay, well, I'm just gonna give up and everything like that. Don't give up on that because, like I said, I thought even making this. This is like my last video possibly from this place or my apartment. Because like I said, I'm working on like trying to get some money or try to keep from getting a victory because it's going to come to the point where you can't just keep the place when you don't have any money. I've been through this before. I mean, I'm saying I, I'm saying I like going through this, but I mean, I know i got to get ready to go try to see if I can go to eviction court and all this other stuff. I mean, like I said, that's what I said. I'm panicking. I'm crazy about finding out what's going to happen, but it's like I said, what can I do about it? It's just like I said. They know everything about me, so it ain't like I'm running somewhere, I'm on high and things like that. I done went, probably got my records in the eviction court from the last time I got a eviction place where I've been and stuff like that. So anyway, like I said, 
people. This might be my last video from here, but hey, I love y'all. I'm out. Hey, peace out.